Today, guys, we'll be answering the question of how many seeds I actually own. I own a lot, trust me. All right, guys, so we're actually going to go through each different seed thing. I got a whole bunch, so this video is going to be kind of long. Please subscribe and like. All right, let's start. We'll start here with the red garment. Amarath, I love this. This is probably, I think this is the second packet of a uh, bot. No. Yeah, it's the second pack of this I uh, bought. I grew this three years in a row. Never had water, never had to do anything, and it produces. Yet, I, I'm i not really a fan of like quinoa and stuff like that. But this thing, you cannot kill it. It'll grow probably anywhere. And that's great. So I got red garment Amarath. I get these from Everwild Farms. Probably the best seed company I've ever gone through. Mylar, 250 for a little pack, yeah, and they go up to like five bucks for like a pound of like squash seeds and stuff. Crimson Sweet Watermelon. I got two different types of companies of that. Jumbo Cantaloupe, Pale Swiss Jumbo. Tried that last year, it didn't go that well because a lot of spacing was bad, but this year I don't think I'm gonna do it. South American Popcorn. Uh, and then my pounds of beans, I got a pound of beans still sealed. I bought this for this year, like this for the one of the gardens. 274, this is an heirloom variety, it's a bush bean again. Then we got these, I grew these last year. Still, I bought these last year, so they're only like a year old. They'll probably last another four years. The Royal Burgundy, I love the color of these. They're amazing. They were not spaced perfectly, so they did produce like low quality like, quantities. I'll try to like, Space them out like series this year, so we should get some nice purple beans. Um, <clears throat> and we got all these tomatoes. That I, to, I don't even know. Top canning tomato. Well, I don't even know what variety that is. I kind of got taken off today. Uh, I'll figure it out. But we got a whole bunch of tomatoes. And a lot of like yellow pear tomatoes. Uh, and this is what I got from Big Creek. Yeah. My, Versaud, Vermisod, I don't know. You know, but Vermisod is just like a free gift they gave me, which is cool. After when I bought uh, New Zealand spinach, which I'll show you in a minute, I got pepper seeds and jalapeno. Uh, that, this is from Everwild again. This is um, like guano. And I'm probably going to grow this this year, the onions. And, uh, basil from Mountain Valley. I only bought these seeds, actually, I got it as a gift, so. That's why I use it for my Valley. And organic, all that. And then this is probably one of the best seed purchases I've ever made. 135 varieties of just a whole bunch of seeds. A lot of seeds from Survival Central Seeds. SurvivalCentrals.com. I got off Amazon. So these are the carrots I planted this year. I'll show you the big bag with all the seeds. But let's continue. Like there's more here like cucumbers. Like this is what I'm planting this year. Cucumbers, tomatoes. Different tomatoes I'm like gonna go off. Probably I might do beef stick. Or beef steak I mean. And thyme, those are this is my urban going this year. I don't think the San Marino made it. And let's put those over here. And then I got more cantaloupe. You know me and my hill fish jumbo love cantaloupe, probably one of my favorite beets. And then back here we got some sugar beets. I just got this for fun, like flower beets. I might have uh oh no, I just opened it to look at them to see what they look like. Pretty cool, big seeds. And then you got some watermelon. You got some crimson sweet. I got more packets of these. And then I got a pound of, you guys know, golden baton, probably the best corn, most well-known corn gardeners use. It actually grew one year, but they, that was the year I was growing really the corn. I got a couple cobs, but this is actually didn't do that well because it kind of gets hot here. The uh, blue hoppy actually grew well, which I'll show you next. Okay, so this is, more seeds, let's pull it out. So we got the blue hoppy corn, best corn that grew here, the best that I could say. It's improved, and this is one of the cobs that I grew. It's all dried out. I can actually replant these seeds and grow some more. There's another cob, but I kind of used that for a school project, so it's kind of gone, but I got this, and I got like a whole bunch of other seeds in there in my box, which I'll show you later in the video. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. All right. And then more survival centrals, sweet Spanish white onions, and then the spinach, which I try to grow. This is the red elastic spinach, small seeds. Just sprouts last year. I planted too late. Sorghum. I got all around. This is from Baker Creek Rare Seeds .com. They're pretty good. And then I got um. <clears throat> 
French horticultural beans. These actually are, they actually turn green when you cook them because it blanches them. All we'll the smoothies over there. I'll probably do those in the bean garden this year. Um, and we got into some peas. Yes. Peas don't really grow here in Las Vegas. I just got these as a gift again. Mountain Valley Seed Company. Good company, organic and all that. All right. Then I'll grow these two turkey wax beans. They're expensive. They're a little bit rare. So that's why I only got like, I think this is, how much is this an ounce? Yeah, I think so. But, um, we go. I got Virginia Jumble Peanuts. Seriously, I tried to grow peanuts, but I kind of got overruled because my little brother is actually allergic to them, so I gotta hold off a little while until I can like secure the garden, make sure I got extra room for these. And I got low key hype them, low key. Um, I got early summer coconut squash, love the squash. First squash I grew and it did so well. Last year was a little bad with the squash bugs and everything. I only got like a small few ones, like small ones. And very little of them. Um, sunflowers do great. Like I planted the first year and I haven't planted since yet. I've been getting sunflowers, which is crazy. It's somewhat like a weed, but I like it. I may plant these one day, maybe even this year. Because these are kind of cool. They grow super tall, taller than me. Um, more sweet Spanish white onions. Yeah, I love these. We'll go this that. We'll go this sweet smash white this year. These I also grew the country gentleman, the white corn. It should grow here, but I didn't grow it that well. I grew it in the wrong garden, the wrong soil, everything. I just didn't really take care of it the first year I did this, so it didn't really grow. And I got cherry bell rashes of a pound of them. I use most of these. I've been using these for three years, like two two years now. So I just like sprinkle these around my yard, and there's a whole bunch more. I just put them in a ziploc because there's a whip in this bag. So I probably have six more ounces of these. I don't know, seeds, there's probably like 40,000, 50,000 seeds in here. Actually, no, like 100,000 seeds. I mean, like, I have so many rashers. The blue hoppy seed that I collected, I, I graded them by the quality of their stalks. I think this is one of the best here. That's why they're dry, I them out. And then, this was a good stock too, so I kept them separate from the general storage, which I just kept like the other ones, like the smaller cobs. So if I wanted to breed these, these are the ones I would plant, these two right here. And look at all the seeds I collected. I only had like five plants, which is amazing. And I got all the seed. It wasn't even all of it. You can see it's still got the germs on it. It's got, I mean, like the silks from the corn. It's all good. Perfectly harvested and dried. And I got more blue like bush seed. Uh, see, that's why I bought more another pound. Because like the first couple years I did the same with the radishes. I just planted these. And I used a lot of them. Which I'll be more conscious now, but they're only like four dollars a pound, which you guys will say is crazy, but seriously, Everwild Farms, good germination. I mean, like I can start a farm right now for like twenty bucks. Roma two, I believe these are pole bean. That's why I didn't really grow them. I did plant them, and I did get some pole beans on my tomato cages, but I might not do that this year. And as you can see, even more of the seeds. These are a little worse quality. I think I. Separated these out like maybe a later cob I pulled. Yeah, uh, these are good quality too. Look at how beautiful the blue is. And then more seeds. We got these Detroit dark beets. I was thinking about growing these for winter. Maybe we'll do it this year. Um, the peas. I might try this too. Might show you guys how to grow some peas. And then I just got mixed gourds. I was gonna do like a Halloween thing, but. I did get like small stuff, but it never like came to fruition, and it was months early for Halloween. I know I could have like stored it, but you know, I I did the reasonable thing and you know, crushed it. Uh, this is the plain bag, sorry guys. Uh, this is kidney beans right here. I bought these and my turtle ate them all. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. You guys will see him probably in the garden next year. I haven't usually eat like the outlines of the beans once I harvest them. He likes the greens of them, the bush beans, which will soon die, so it's not really killing them, it's just helping them. And this is what I'm talking about. Survival essential seed is probably the best seed thing I can get for the price. Look at all these seeds, I got squash seeds, 135 varieties, not all of them are in here, some are split out like I showed you. I picked them out for this specific purpose. 
It came in a cool box, and there's pea seeds, and I'll show you even more seeds that are still in there. There's probably these, I think these are um, onions, squash, every type, and herbs too it comes with. Okay guys, this is the final installment. These are some of the sunflower seeds, the bulk of them I just took off. There's some chaff in there, which I couldn't get later, but I don't want to lose all the seeds and have them grow in my yard. So this is probably from a head or two, actually two heads of sunflower. I'm one of those big sunflowers, the, I can't think of it right now. But uh, the mammoth gray sunflowers. These are seeds, you can like roast these up, put some butter on them, turn them into sunflower seeds, or just plant them next year. That's what I hope for. This is, I wrote the label, the date, everything. So this is, let me read it to you. Ooh. 10, 12, 16, so that's 2016, October 12th. And I described it, perfect tall sunflower. This is the gray sunflower. And I thought I brought some more of it. Yeah, these are my perfect seeds that I picked off. Perfection. I think this was actually, no, no, no. This is the plant that was smaller than the rest. Like it took up less space. That's why the seeds are smaller. So this can actually be a whole nother variety to go more per like anchor or whatever. That's why I saved it. And I got like peppers, kale. And I bought these because I did cabbage the first year and I actually got the plants and well, I just planted them so I just bought this because they did so well. Um, lettuce mix, gourmet mix again from the Mountain Valley Seed Co. Mountain Valley Seed Co. Is, I might uh, I already plant the carrots. I already planted scarlet and nentes. Maybe next year since it's a fresher. And I got um, flax, Louis flax so I can like, you know, I want to be like one of those Egyptians pretty smiling. <laughs> cotton or linen. Uh, Big Macs pumpkins, like I was saying, that October thing I was doing, I got Big Macs. Um, more of the, oh no, this is the cactus seed. I first started with cactuses, which, you know, uh, cactuses, <laughs> too easy, and they don't really produce anything. And then the rest, the last thing was milk and milk cucumbers, another Mountain Valley that I planted last year. So this is probably, this is my total collection. I will be putting the Survival Essentials 135C variety from Amazon in my link. Please buy them, they're not paying me for this. It's just, I think they're a great seed company. Actually, I'll put all the links. Everwild is probably the best, cheapest seed with the highest germination you can get. Mountain Valley, and I'll add on rare seeds too. So please subscribe, like, follow, hit me up on Instagram, email me for any gardening advice. Thank you for watching.